welcome to Miss Trini Treats. Today I'll be showing you how to make these adorable stacked sugar cookie treats that are so easy, so fun, and so festive with all these little details. Perfect treat that you can give out as teacher gifts. You can make them for a holiday party, or you can sit down and just do some edible stacking treats with your children. So let's get started on our sugar cookie recipe. So in a bowl, drop in your two sticks of softened butter and your half a cup of sugar. Mix on low until just combined. Increase your speed to high until light and creamy. Now add your one egg and your tablespoon of vanilla. And combine these at low speed. Now beat in your flour and your baking powder until it's just combined. I like to add a little bit of my flour at a time so that the powder doesn't come flying back up in my face. separate them into four equal pieces and then individually wrap them in saran wrap and place them in the fridge for about an hour. If you'd like to have these done before then you can throw them in the freezer for about 30 minutes. After my dough is ready I begin by sprinkling my work area with some flour and rolling out one of the sections of dough. For the largest one, I am making four. For the medium sized one, I am making three. And for the smallest one, I am making three. Once they are cut out, lay them on your baking sheet and set them aside. I took my leftovers of the first section and I dyed it black. Then I proceeded to roll it out and using my smallest cutter, I punched out three small circles. This is going to be the top part of each of the snowman's hat. I'm doing three, you can do two, or you know, you can do as many as you like. This is totally up to you. With the remainder of the black, I rolled it out once more and I pressed out another circle, but this time using my medium sized round cutter that is about two and three quarter inches in diameter. This is going to serve as the base of the hat. Now place those on your cookie sheet with the rest of them and, and then place them in the oven at 350 for about 10 to 12 minutes. One section of my dough makes one snowman. After they have cooled, I have laid out all my pieces out in front of me so that I can make sure that I have everything I need. Using my decorating bag fitted with tip number 12 and some white icing, I'm just going to add a little circle around the inside and then place the next cookie on top of it. Now I'm carefully pressing this together so I can squeeze all the excess icing out of the sides. Then you can just wipe it off and move on to the next. Do this with all the cookies all the way up to your hat. of white icing and then pressing the bottom half of the hat on the very top of the smallest section of cookies. Now this time don't add as much frosting in between each of the black layers because we don't want the frosting seeping out the sides. Now they are ready to go into the fridge to harden. While I'm waiting for those to set, I'm sprinkling some cornstarch on my work area and I'm going to begin rolling out a small piece of black fondant. I'm using a fondant roller but you can use a rolling pin for this step. And using the smaller part of my tip number 12, I am going to punch out five little black circles and these are going to serve as the coal for his eyes and his buttons. Put those aside and begin rolling out your red fondant. What I did with this one is I took the largest cookie cutter that I used on the snowman and I punched out a large three and a half inch circle out of my red fondant. So to cut out the center of my red circle, I'm going to use the smaller cookie cutter that is around the size of two and a quarter inches in diameter. Now remove the metal and using a sharp utensil, just pick a spot and cut your fondant. 
Now we're going to place this around the snowman's neck as this is going to serve as a scarf. Just carefully stand it up around the back and then feed it towards the front. Once in the front, take your fingers and pinch about an inch back from the end of each end of the scarf. And then overlap those pieces, cure them with a little bit of water. Now we're going to add the buttons to the front of his belly. I have three, so I'm going to try to evenly place them down the front of his belly, then secure it with some water. Now I'm just adding the coal eyes with a little bit of water. Using a little bit of my red fondant, I'm just going to roll out a small ball and then roll it between my fingers to make the carrot. Add a little bit of water to the back and place it between the two eyes. Just make sure that you're bending the tip down slightly just so it gives it more of a carrot appearance. Now you can stop here if you're just going to be making these for gifts. If however you're not going to be wrapping these, you can add these little arms. I'm rolling out two white pieces of fondant and I'm just kind of flattening them a little bit. And then I attach them to each side of the snowman using a little bit of water just under the scarf. Rolling out a small piece of my red fondant, I am going to use my tip number 12 and I'm going to use the larger end to press out two small circles. And then I took my sharp utensil and cut out a small triangle out of one of the sides. It should be looking a little bit like Pac-Man at this point. Work your fingers around it and kind of just, you know, soften the edges by squeezing and pinching the tips and then pressing the top part of the mitten back a little bit. And then in order to attach these, I folded down the back end of the mitten just a tad so that I could adhere them with water to the white circles. See how it's got kind of like a little lip on it? That's what we're looking to do. Now attach it to the white circles on each side of his body with a little bit of water. Using a little bit of white icing, drop three dots down the front of his buttons and then press in each of the sugar pearls. I have this kit that I like a little holiday Wilton kit and it comes with these cute little holly sprinkles. I'm going to take three of the leaves and then, and then one holly berry and I'm just going to attach it to the corner of his hat using a little bit of icing. Now if you're gifting these, you can always do what I'm doing and use a piece of saran wrap. I just laid the saran wrap out, placed the snowman in the center of the and then picked up each side and carefully pushed the saran wrap backwards so that you can't see the seams of the wrapping. And then gathered it at the top and secured it with a ribbon. I added a small piece of tape to the back just to make sure that it doesn't open back up in transport. And he's done. Here are the snowman treats that we made today. I love how they came out. I love the festive pops of color that he is wearing on his scarf. And I also love the small detail on the corner of his hat. I will be posting pictures of these guys on my Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook pages. As always, if you like this tutorial, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you next time. So here are the... Bye-bye, guys. So here how... And now here is how our snowman turned out. They pack in some edible stacking. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll... Cute little snowman stacked tower sugar cookie treats. So without further ado, let's just get or you can sit down and do some edible tower treats with your kilt. Or you can sit down and do some edible stacking treats. Okay. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Snowman sugar cookie towers that or something that you can these adorable little stacked snowman tower sugar cookie treats.